Samanan to Melang Bulweni, Abu Sheni di Bacheroni. Salam alaikum, Namaste, good day, Khoedah. Awe Masakaners, my name is Winston and welcome back to my channel, Bushis Labur. On this channel, we discuss everything relating to small scale farming and those small projects that you can do yourself, save on some money, and enjoy the fruit of the labor. And in today's video, we are harvesting some uh, potatoes. Um, this, 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 this video is gonna go over a few weeks and months and so on because, well, let me show you what I've done. So if you've been following this channel, you will know this garden. Uh, I've been trying to grow some stuff. I've been experimenting and all of that. Uh, but this year I've also neglected this this part of the garden because of the focus on the um, strawberry garden. Uh, the strawberries have been giving me a lot of a lot of um, strawberries. So what I've done this year is that um, I've planted uh, potatoes down here. I've planted some uh, beans, the the sugar beans this side, the green beans that side. I've planted some things there that didn't grow. That would have been the broccoli, cauliflower. Um, my son's chilies are still there. Um, I see. I, I think one of them are turning red. I'm actually, actually tell him that he must go and harvest that. And there's the watermelon vine around there at the back, and the cabbage that just doesn't want to grow. I'm still figuring that out and right over here the cocktail tomatoes that I don't even sow myself because of the the plants um, growing and falling and the birds eating it and the seed being deposited back into the earth um, next it will stay dormant the whole winter and it will just grow and obviously here I have some sunflower that is also about to, to die but I'm um, I want to harvest some 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 seed there so I can plant again so let me show you what I've done in terms of um, the bump the potatoes all right so this is the one tire um, that's the same experiment that I've done the last time is I've, I've planted the, the, the potato inside the ground and then I put the tire on top and I just added some soil with this one I am I am experimenting with the fact that I'm not adding soil I'm only adding mulch so when I cut the grass I come and I add the the, the grass um, the first one died the first plant died I'm trying it again as you can see the plant is still small so I'm gonna start stacking it up with tires and just adding some mulch all the time um, the second one over here this one we've planted some 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 um, tom some potatoes I um, I'm actually going to use this is also mulch um, I don't know if it's the mulch that is the one killing the plant but there's only one way to find out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these tires on top of that one there as the plant grows and I'm gonna use the mulch and the, the earth over here and add it also to that to fill it up then the third one over here um, this is also one that died so I had to plant new potatoes and as you can see the plant is still healthy and alive and growing so I'm also going to add some more tires I just want to bring this plant up like this and I add some more tires and maybe add some more mulch also see how that one grows um, here I have also um, here I, I, I didn't do the tire what I did here is um, um, I have planted the, 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 the potato, I've added some soil to make it a heap and I added some mulch, as you can see the mulch was nice and thick because only a few pieces of grass had grew past it, this is one we will harvest today, we'll see what's happening there because the plant has died, this is the signal that to say that you can now um, harvest your potatoes. Over here we also have another one where I've also done the same thing, this plant is also about to die, um, it gave us flowers, I'm actually going to leave this because I saw some flowers still. So I'm gonna leave this bunch here. Then this one over here, I'm gonna harvest because this plant has died. Same thing, it's also a, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> potatoes that I have um, planted here that um, um, basically grew and the plant died now, so I can harvest this one. Um, that one is a tire that I filled up. Um, the plant died before it gave me flowers. That one um, just died now, so I'm gonna harvest some there. So let's start with the harvest and I'll show you what's happening. All right, so let's start with the first one. This is the dead plant already. This is the potato plant, it's completely dead. Let me chuck this. Let's up here. Just use a bit of a sack for 
compost. So now let's just remove the, you can see how thick I marshed here. So that is only marsh. And let's see what we get over here. Yeah, it's rotten. There's potato is rotten. This one also looks rotten. This one is also rotten. And this one is only starting to grow now. Alright, file number one, we put a one potato and some rotten ones over here. This is uh, file number two that we're going to harvest. Um, there was some flowers and they did die, so let's just take out the plant. Um, we have some watermelon also vining over this plant, so I don't want to hurt that. So let's move that away. Let's just take the mulch away. This is all thick mulch that I have here. Sure. Alright, let's see what's happening in here. So further, see all the earthworms. Let's go. Let's go here. Some small ones. That's it. So, second pile, harvest. And this is what we get from the second pile. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Alright, pile number three. The watermelon are vining over this one. So I must be careful for what I do here. Okay. Just take the mulch away. damaged. Big one but it's damaged. In there. Oh, 
think that is it. Oh no. This one is rotten. This one is also damaged. Okay. I think that is awful. Nope. No, no. <laughs> okay, that's it for pile number three. Got a few nice ones. Uh, there's one rotten one over here somewhere. But yes, this, one, this one is damaged. Big one, but damaged. This one is nice. This one is nice. This one is damaged. And this is the rotten one. Attached to a, a nice one. So that is pile number three. Let's go over to the next one. Last pile. Right, let's go around this. We're gonna harvest today. But from what I can see already, um, let me just show you one watermelon growing here. Small watermelon growing here. The vine is going down here. But I also saw that one potato from here. I don't know how it got there. Oh, here's another plant. This side probably is probably the plant that hung over right here and it established itself in there. So before we get to the tire, let's see what we can find here. comes from underneath the tire so we pushed out the potatoes underneath the tire all right that is three over there so let's go remove tire number one on the plant itself and the roots the storm is coming so we better hurry up okay let's take off tire number two let's get rid of these things and this is also one of the plants that i just used mulch instead of adding compost or soil uh, it was an experiment to see if Pumpkins are gonna grow. Uh, ah, potatoes. Potatoes are gonna grow in mulch, and doesn't seem to do very well. All the small ones. Yeah. Seems the potatoes taking over you. There you go. That's one. Yeah. Let's take over this tire. And then we are down to the last tire. And I think there's some magic happening there at the bottom. Let's go underneath. Okay. So there you can see some nice potatoes underneath. There's two. Starting to sleep. Oh. Soil is very hard here. Two small ones. There's another, another one. baby potato. There's another one over here. This one is damaged. It's starting to drizzle now, so I need to hurry up. This one is also damaged. This one is also damaged. And then there's a few small ones there. soil here is, is very hard so I don't think I'm gonna plant potatoes here anymore this was the area last year where we got a lot of green peppers so I think green peppers going forward this will be the house for our green peppers okay, 
this plant is going somewhere. Let's see where it's oh there's more. It's taking its roots elsewhere. Alright. Okay, that's I think that's it. Let's check this out. The soil is. I doubt we're gonna get any more. All right, so that's it. And for pile number three, we have some good potatoes right there. So that is our potato harvest um, part one for uh, for 2024. Um, we've done how many? One, two, three, four. We did four piles. <coughs> And now what we want to do is we need to um, still figure out this one over here. I've just stacked some more piles up, uh, more tires up. This is the one with the tire hung over. So I uh, put two more tires up. I added some. I added some soil until level of the of this tire over here. The second one. Then I added another one. So I want to see if this plant is going to grow any further. If it does, I will just add some more soil and some more uh, mulch because I've, I, I've seen that if you just add mulch, the potatoes doesn't grow. It actually finds a way down at the bottom where the, where the uh, ground is, where the soil is, then it will, it, it, it looks for a space right over there. And then that uh, tire over there, is it that one over there? No, that one over there, the last one over there, um, that is the one where um, we just saved right now, so we, we, we planted a new one. So what I want to do actually is um, um, we have some more potatoes at inside that's um, sprouting. Actually, I've, I think there's one or two, I'm not sure. But those two I will plant. It's in March already, so I'm not sure if um, it will give me potatoes by 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 winter. So it's just that's also an experiment that I'm going to use. And I also found that if I plant it at the back right over there, that soil is a little bit too um, um, uh, too hard. It's uh, more of a clay soil, so the potatoes don't really grow out over there. Those that's the place where the green peppers was flourishing. So I'll leave that for peppers. So that's it for no. I haven't I haven't weighed this uh, uh, potatoes. Let me go weigh it and let's see what it weighs. Before I go weigh the the, the potatoes, maybe some bonus material. Um, I've told you that we have some watermelon vining over here. There's another watermelon over there. There's a nice one over here. This one is uh, there's a hole in it. It's shaped funny. I'm, I don't have much faith in this one. Um, there's another watermelon over there. There's one bigger one over there. Um, and I saw another one somewhere. I just don't know where it is. But there are also small ones um, growing somewhere. So what I did was what I've learned from the, the other um, watermelon vine is that I thought that it got a lot of water based on the rain that we've got but this is under shade so um, the Sun is not too hectic as as the other place so it doesn't dry up the soil as much as it does here the soil is nice and damp still uh, we just got rain a few minutes ago the thunder is starting again so I, we're gonna expect some rain tonight some more rain so I don't have to water tomorrow so I'm gonna water the very next day but I want to keep this uh, all watered up and what I've done with this one specific there's something that I've that I've learned on 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 YouTube is that where the where the where the watermelon is attached to maybe just the end the, the the at the end of it just cut that off so that all the nutrients go into the watermelon itself and giving you a nice big watermelon so i'm gonna see if that is the truth and, and we'll see how that goes so let's go weigh the potatoes and i'll come back all right so here we have our food scale and let me switch that on and let me put on this basket over here right in the middle in the middle and it gives us 3.8 kilos right if that is 3.8 kilos let's subtract the weight of the basket let's throw out all the potatoes over here all the potatoes small ones are still stuck in there all right let's take 3.8 if the, that is 1.1 1 .1, say 1.05 so basically we have 2.8 
all these potatoes that you see over here uh, it has been flying over that's 2.8 kilograms of potatoes and maybe just to see if the math is correct let's deduct the the weight of the of the basket and let's just add all the potatoes again oh potatoes are running away potatoes all over let's just add these potatoes over here let's add the potatoes let's just add all these all these potatoes let's just add them in here again Small ones included, small ones we can use as Nupoiki. And there you go. Still calculating up and down, up and down is actually 2.6. So potatoes, 2.6 kilograms. So that's it for our potato harvest for 2024. Part one, that is, we still busy with part two. The other part, the other um, potatoes that we planted, stay tuned for that video in the near future coming up. But if you like the video, give me the thumbs up. If you don't, give me the thumbs down. If you haven't subscribed yet, please destroy the subscribe button and the notification bell so that, you, so that you can be notified whenever we have a new update. And if you are the expert, if you want to comment, suggestions, questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer that for you. Also, even to use your advice that you share with me. It is starting to rain right now. Uh, as you can see, it's dark skies over there. Um, so I need to get back in. But that's it from me for now. Until next time, keep well, stay safe, stay blessed. Away.